Now let's talk about installing the fiber optic rod in the front sight. Now in my experience, fiber optic rod will last a long, 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 long time without need to be replaced. It's not fragile at all, uh, but it, it helps if you install it right. Uh, in my experience, like you see, uh, I've gone you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 rounds on one piece of fiber without, and then I didn't need to replace it because it was broken. Uh, it just kind of reached that point where it was kind of dingy and wasn't as bright as I wanted it to be, so then I'll replace it, okay? That's generally the only reason I'll replace fiber optic rod if you install it right. So, um, worth noting, uh, you can see the, the front of my sight, front of my front sight there has a recess in it for the fiber optic rod to pull into. So let's start by using a little heat and expanding or making a bell on the end of the piece of fiber. Important that you don't touch the flame onto the fiber optic rod or it'll dull it out. Okay, so hold the flame away from it. Okay, and just the right amount. You want a big enough bell there so it'll hold firmly in the front sight, uh, but not so big that it won't go into the recess. Sometimes folks will make a very large bulb on the front and think that you know, that larger bulb is going to make it a bigger fiber optic sight and it's going to be easier for your eye to catch it. Actually, what that does is it kind of dulls out the fiber and when light hits it, it kind of blooms it out a little bit. You know, kind of like an EOTech all the way up on bright. Kind of makes it hard to define exactly where the dot is. With the front sight um, or the fiber optic recessed in the front sight, you get a really clean, defined red dot that stands out against that black serrated front sight. So we'll pull that, uh, that bulb nice and tight in there. I like to apply a little thumb pressure on the front and diagonal cutters are perfect for this. You can put your diagonal cutters right against the front sight and then cut it off and you end up with almost a perfect amount of fiber optics sticking out the front. Now we'll work that same concept where we put our flame out there and then bring the fiber close to it and let the heat, not the flame, but the heat shrink that thing up firmly against the front sight blade. That looks good. Now, the thing that we have to be aware of when we, and, and careful of when we're installing fiber optic, I mentioned that it's very durable if you install it right. If you don't get this part right and there's slack in there, okay, as the gun cycles, you know, the, the fiber can move back and forth in there and it can bounce around and break, okay? Um, but if you install this right, you won't have any problems. Little thing I came up with the other day on accident um, was putting the gun back together. You know, that looks pretty good. Um, looks nice and tight there, but here's something we can do. Put our gun back together. We can make sure this dude's unloaded and let's cycle it a few times and let the recoil spring slam the action back forward. All right, so we cycled it a few times. Let's take a peek there and see if there's any slack. There's no slack. This is installed right. It's not going to break. It's going to last a long time. Like I said, I've gone up to 10,000 rounds or so on a piece of fiber, and the only reason I replaced it is because it got dingy. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you all next time. Hey, what's up, y'all? I hope you were digging the video that you were just watching there. And if you'd like that and you'd like to know more, I recommend you go to my website, frankproctorshooting.com, and subscribe to FPTV. There you're going to find hours of detailed information on training and gear to help you shoot fast, accurate, and easy. While you're on the website, check out my training schedule. Come out and train with me. Um, also, take a look at the products I offer. See if they'll help you shoot. Speaking of shooting, time for me to get back to training.